They won a thriller last night. 10 Sports Brooke Leonard caught up with Cave Spring, one game from that state title journey. There's a lot of similarities between Tuesday's practice at Cave Spring and this day two years ago. Excitement and energy left over from a state semifinal thriller. The Knights are a mere 48 hours away from the championship game. The difference between now and then, though, a healthy dose of gratefulness and surely nothing standing in their way. The last time that bus was pulling in and Mr. Parker, our assistant principal, waved that bus on so it wouldn't pull into our parking lot. Thursday, Cave Spring will be back in the Class 3 title game for the second time in three years. The last title was in 2020, where they were named the Class 3 co-champions due to COVID and never stepped foot in Richmond. I don't want to be over dramatic or take things out of context as many people have lost their lives. So, but for us in that moment in our basketball lives, it was... It was devastating. It really was. The Knights are 27 and 1, their last loss back in early December to rival Northside. But the journey hasn't been easy, really. It's been two years in the making, but it's made them better. It's not a fight of adversity. And like when adversity hits, like this team has been ready. We stay calm, kept our composure, and I mean, and then we just continued to fight. And if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that nothing is guaranteed. And head coach Jacob Gruss knows how quickly things could change between now and Thursday. I want to be able to take our guys into the Seagull Center. Then we can take a, a quick breath for about 20 minutes and then we'll start preparing again. In Roanoke, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports.